Would it look a bit good to get down that one? Yeah. Do you think? Not, not a street figure. Yeah. A bit muddy, like. Morning everyone and welcome back to South Yorkshire. It's not often that I have to report two weeks on the trot from the safe uh, from the same area. Now we sent some information from a rambler that has been walking around this area and when they Conisborough, Doncaster, now this person tells me that there is a migrant camp deep in these woods down here. Now obviously it's still alleged to me until I go and confirm this. There is supposed to be 15, roughly about 15 of the plastic pods. They have been there since at the end of the lockdown. This land, this woodland land was or is owned by Doncaster City Council. Now you can't actually get a postcode for this place. We have to do the last quarter of a mile walking. Now I'm told that just over the backs over here is Connies Connisborough train station, which I'm gonna go and take a, a little look at later. And there's supposed to be a track down there the cars go down with foreign, so-called foreign number plates. But when they get to that side of the camp, there is actually a lot of gates, so I, I wouldn't be able to access it down there. But I'm told if I walk a quarter of a mile down here, so please guys, if you've been on from the beginning, let me know when a, a quarter of a mile is. <laughs> the camp is supposed to be on my left. Well, let's see guys. Plenty of people walking dogs around here and people on bikes and there is actually um, some sort of business just just around the corner, maybe it looks like a stone works, but we're literally in the middle of nowhere. I've done a quarter of a mile. No, this is it one is left, that's a public footpath in there. Oh that's railway, that's what railway tracks down there. We ended in a quarter of a mile yet, have we? Well, we should, hopefully we should be able, be able to see it. Is that on the left? On the left. But I'm sure he said it is all fenced off, so it will be hard to see. Um, but let's just try and find the place first. Good morning, everyone. Thank you, everyone, for jumping on. Please like and share this and subscribe to my channel. This is more information that I've been given from another concerned person who worries about the amount of homeless people in Doncaster today. Well, our government like to pay for people from other countries before their own people. So yeah, we're just outside of Conisborough near Doncaster, DN, was it DN5? Or DN5 postcode? DN5, yeah. DN5, guys. But I've only got a postcode to the end of the road. Garden Lane. And then obviously you've got to go on foot. But until I actually see this, obviously for, my, for myself, I can't confirm that, you know, the information is correct that I've been given, but 
I do get a lot of people that privately message me and they don't want their names getting out there because they're too frightened of the repercussions and I totally understand them. Have we walked a quarter of a mile? I don't think so. No. It's a bit of a new thing <laughs> for my little legs. <laughs> so yeah guys, I was gonna I was gonna go down to Coventry today, but change of plan because I needed to come back to Doncaster. I also need to pay a visit to the place that I went to last week. I also need to go to another little village in Doncaster where there has been an alleged sighting of a migrant trying to get a girl, 14 year old girl in a silver car. So I'll be going and reporting from these areas because it only seems to be reported on Facebook by concerned parents when it's their children that it happens to and it's very rare it even gets to the local news never mind the mainstream media this is weird down here have we done a quarter of a mile yet guys Did you say we'll be able to see it from this place? I think he said that it was fenced off, but we should be able to see it on the left. What's that down there? Oh, I don't know if it's just trees. No building is there down there. I'll go a little bit further. I wonder if this would actually bring us out round right by where the train station is. Yeah, do you think the train station is up here then? Yeah, I think so, yeah. Yeah, I actually did see see that of uh, of Joe's that interview and I was gonna give him a shout out because it was his interview uh, and his report that I did see down there even though I have actually uh, visited a couple of the migrant hotels down there um, I think it was either early last year or the year before the Citrus Hotel at Coventry and I can't remember the name of the other one um, Coventry Hilltop or something was it I've visited about 250 hotels maybe more now and I'm starting to forget some of the names of them. Will you say I'm close here, David? Thank you. I said we're close here to a quarter of a mile. Thank you everyone for coming on. Thanks to my mods, much appreciated. Do a look, just looking for what a local thinks is a migrant camp. It must be a decent size area to get. I know, 15, not. Excuse me, mate, are you from the area? Are you from the area? Are you from this area? Yeah. Uh, sorry, I'm just I'm filming on YouTube. I've not got you on. Uh, uh, if right. I carry on walking down here, will they said to the train station? Oh, you're going to the train station? Well, I'm not really. Oh. Well, I am. I, I'm, I'm doing two things at the moment. I'm actually looking for a camp within here that's got 15 pods that yeah. people are living in. Mm. I know. Oh, right. I've heard. I think, are, are they like Romania? I don't know. Foreign, yeah. Yeah. Um, Yeah, yeah. You go down and just keep following track. And it's set back on, on that way. You, you, you can see where it's banking up the hill. There's somewhere in the, in the woods. Oh, all right. Yeah, yeah. Keep on going down. Keep going down there, then, right. yeah. Uh, okay. Sorry, keep on going down. I was told it was only a quarter of a mile down here from, from, from where we're from parked. parked up at the top. You were told you parked it to uh, what that hill where you come down. Yeah. Oh no, I don't know. Yeah. I've parked down here with it. That stonework is just up at the top of here. Oh yeah, yeah, because you're you're come through Cabe, surely, yes, yeah. Yes. You come down hill. Yeah. Well, it's, it's a bit hard. So, 
you go and do some investigating where it's so uh, we know where somewhere it's in there what so you go down follow this track yeah and it, it, you come to like um like a fencing on your left yeah right that's that's the earth center and there's like a road what comes from here from back of there yeah it's like a, it used to be old railway tracks and it, it comes in front of you like so if you turn right yeah. you can go up the hill slightly and come back round yourself and it's set back in them woods Right. Right inside, somewhere up there. Yeah. Right, so we need to, we're need all right walking down here then? Yeah, walking down here, yeah. In fact, I, 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 because I, I can go that way, because usually I go left and then round and then and back down again. Back. Oh, you don't have oh, to, can, we can go. I can show you where, because you don't know where, you might get lost. All but, right, thank yeah. you, that's really appreciated. Yeah, I just, I've heard the Romanians anyway. Well, I don't know, it's just a local that has been um, walking the dog round and they were just concerned what was going on when, you know, we've got lots of homelessness in South and West Yorkshire, where I come from, and we were just wondering, um, you know, whether we... Why the cat house are homeless? To be honest, I didn't know who was. I didn't know who was actually in there, but I was told that um, there was cars coming, uh, foreign cars coming, and they're coming to the camp, but from down the side of the railway from station, railway. down a, a private road that's gated. Well, down here, so, down here, yeah, is that down here? Sorry, I don't know the area. So, so, what, what, what are they saying? What? Yeah. So from the railway station. From the railway part. station, there is a road just there that uh, again that they're going in in cars to this camp. Now it's all gated off, so I wouldn't be able to get in there. But I'm told if I come this way, I'll be able to to see what's going on. Right, I think is in the is it goes down here. Is uh, what I call it? it um, what I call the place? My son went there. It's like um, where school children go. University. Uh, no, College. Um, no, no. What I call it? Not keep. But, um, oh God, oh, it's like a camp. Oh, I know where you mean, yeah, yeah. Does it begin with Earth E? Centre. Earth Centre, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, so the thing about the gate where it is, is probably down here actually, but are they coming through a gate then? Well, the, I think that's probably the main camp entrance from down there. But where I the just want, can... well, I just wanted to come and have a look from this side and just, yeah, just do a report and see what's going on down there, because it's obviously quite tucked well, away been, in secret, isn't it? I found out. I've come around this as well a long time, right? And then someone, I will make someone talk to about chatting. And I said, oh, did you know there's a camp up there in them buds? Come here, camp. Well, there's not a load of immigrants in buds. But you're joking. So, yeah, they were set back up there. I've heard that, um, I don't know how true it is, but I've heard that Doncaster Council acquired this land at the end of the lockdown. Um, so, have they been in there since, since then? What would you say? Oh, right. I want if it's something to do with Earth Centre then. That might be the Earth Centre. Well, there. Doncaster Council is uh, supposed to have bought this bit of woodland and obviously put some pods on there, which we think about 15. Well, why can't they use these pods for our own list? That would be my question. I know. We can go together, can't we, that? We can. This country, what? It's so unfair. What we do. I mean, I've always said, right, uh, all right, think about other people abroad, but not as much as they do. I mean, like, we got a lot of, we got, this country, there's a lot of people homeless. Yeah. Right? And it even poor. I know. Right? And they're more concentrating on people, I don't know, so yeah. like, like guards there or yeah, they are. Else. Sending money um, over. Yeah. So, and then you get the Christian church in this country, which has always been going, it's, it's gone down there. It has. Uh, Christian yeah. churches, the losing land selling the churches yeah and then as soon as immigrants come in oh, well, we'll, 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 we'll turn you christian a christian right uh missionary go to a muslim country like iran pakistan uh, 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 convert them to christianity yeah they do impossible that one of you will never happen oh yeah yeah to their country yeah now, that's yeah so why would we say to an immigrant who they don't know over a year. <laughs> there's, a, there's a procedure. procedure. There is. Yeah. And money. And do you know what? Yes. Some, people, some people cannot be Christians today for their political beliefs. No, Can you believe that? A Muslim. Because that's me. A Muslim. They do need to stay in the country, yeah. aren't they? Your son is. 
and you see is because it goes pretty reasonably most of it's what one like tip as she is and uh with a car yeah. and, and the other ones oh they all don't get on anyway i know they're all bringing it to our country yeah. aren't they so you'll never see a muslim convert into christianity it's never impossible but you see you'll see a muslim right where the tech uh, in fact i know something like this in africa right yeah and he said he had to come out he had to run out his, well escape his country because it, i think it was like um i think we ruled it and then as soon as we left muslims took over yeah and they, and they were christian they right. had to get out of that country and go into another country in Africa. And that is true immigration, that people that need it, isn't it? Not yeah. these freeloaders that are coming yeah. over on the dinghies. Yeah. Yeah. But we don't know who they are. They throw their ID well, away in the sea. What about all this is, they are all of them are coming on, are coming in this country, and they're all male. Yeah, this, this now, is what we've just been on about. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. don't mind... <laughs> it's a squirrel. I don't mind just um, saying. your family's coming over. But I want to know why it's all men. All these men are going to get jobs. Yeah. Not, half of them can't even speak English. Half of them can't speak English. They don't um, respect us women. They don't. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad a woman has said that. Yeah, well, I've been around them, you know. You know, There's, some of them are terrible, and I'm not going to tar everyone with the same brush, you know. But yeah. They're abusive. You can see how they look, they look down at me, and it's it's quite shocking. It's, it's mainly your Muslims got to look down on a woman. Yep, yep. And, yeah, and, yeah. and if, I, if, if there was a politician next to me there, you'd be going crazy. You'd be saying, I'm a racist, not yeah. that one. Yeah, the cult, it, it, yeah, I know. I mean, not just really. It's just frightening, I know, and I report those issues, but because I report those issues, I get called all those names, but I know that I'm not them sort of names, I'm just a concerned citizen. What gets me mad is that they don't understand the Muslim, the Muslim, no. because the Muslim, right, their women, are down here. Uh, abso absolutely. They're, honestly, they honestly are. it's true. They are. And they think that can treat yeah, us like they're that. Down yeah. there yeah. in society. Yeah. yeah. Well, that that and, isn't us. And if a woman, if he gets a woman pregnant, he want a boy. Yeah. Not they've the been, girl. They've been known to kill them if they've been girls yeah. in the past. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, they are. It's awful. They just don't live like we live and that's why and we have such a problem with this. It's all to do with Labour and these people in Parliament where Definitely. Yeah. they come out with this Absolutely. multicultural society where yeah. all of us will live in peace yes. together. <laughs> Never they happen. will. It's never they gonna will. Happen. There we they will. Won't. We'll live never. together in their little private houses and yeah. their two big houses they get and their yeah. big houses abroad and all that yeah. lot and money they get and they live in a bubble. Yeah. yeah. But when it's our kids that will be suffering, isn't it? Like you yeah. say, you're yeah. panicking about your daughter and, kids and your grandkids. I've got a girl of 15 yeah. now and I'm dreading how he's going to grow up in this, in this world yeah. now. I know. I know. Where, where you get a Palestinian, right? Come to this country, right? Probably if we're, you know, I'm pouring all that lot. Yeah. And then they'll go out and protest in the yeah, country. They do. In London, where so they're coming out all this way. And I'm thinking, hold on, would you protest in your own country, Gaza? Yeah. Right? I get, because basically they ruled by Hamza, uh, they were Hamas. Called Hamas. Yeah. Not ruled by a politician, like a, a member of parliament, all like that. It's Hamas. Yeah. They've got their own. The own things what they want to do. Yeah, their own rules. Their own yeah. rules what they yeah. want to do and all that. But yeah. why allow it? But yet they come down hard and on us if protest. we protest. That little protest, you know, it's just, it's it's all, it's all, it's all the plan, you know. Yeah. Why are they doing it? I do not know. You know, other than wanting to fear. If you this country don't get a grip, oh, then in ten years' time, we're in yeah. Trouble. No, it says, <laughs> I think it's well on its way to that now. I don't know. This is not a place, is it? I don't know. No, no, it's it's there, it says it? they were plastic. Are they? Well, they could be plastic, though. Didn't they say it's on left? Yeah. They said it were on left. Yeah. Yeah. Said it were on left. Could be this. Then. That's it, then. Well, this is... So how did they get into this, All then? this land here, all this, were owned by council because it used to be a pit, right? Then, yeah. Um, that there were, I think someone built a, a place like for children for adventure playing 
and it went all to pot. And then the council brought it again and then sold it to, um, what the car in there? There's a place for it, there's a name. Where they've got a number, they've got one in place in Sheffield where school children go and they do um, abseil in canoe. Oh, right, oh, right okay. yeah. Right, so like activity yeah, centre. So, they yeah. bought, so that, that company bought this off a of council. But this, I think this is, I think this is where they live here. Yeah, I think this is it here. Yeah. You think this is it? Yeah. So where, where do we get into this place then? It's locked up that day. We do we see somebody of them coming out, couldn't we? to see him. Because it's quite wonder, tucked away. Wonder, because, right, I, because I used to, I, when, when they built it there, I thought, oh, it must have something to do with uh, children, where they've got pods and they, and they you know what I mean? Like, yeah. where, they, where they live. See, they've got chairs and, outside. Yeah, and then I started to see all rubbish, and I'm thinking, they mm. won't leave all rubbish like that. If that that comes, no, they won't. They'll no, be cleaning back it. it up, won't so they? this is where, the, I think, these are uh, the, the um, immigrants here then. Tucked away, this guy's in there. Not a lot longer than a quarter of a mile walk for my person that gave me the information. So this is it here, look. Yeah, this is it. Because I wonder if I, I used to think they won't leave all rubbish because I've seen it worse than this. It, it really a tip. I've got two, two houses in my street and it's got them in and I've, I've, I've had them and that they just throw the rubbish in yeah. bags, That's in bags. There's rats and everything That's everywhere. That's how they live in our country. Yeah. That's how they come to this country. It's like, we just, we, we just, I don't know, we just leave them. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it, 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 it just get, I reported it to council. Council come along and just cleared it up. I, I mean... Oh, we'd have had to pay for it. Well, well, yeah, that rubbish clearing out, wouldn't we? Most of the people, I mean, we live in Cuddersbury. Yeah. Right? And I'm telling you now, there's a five-year waiting list. To what be for housed how, ours in is in Five year yeah. waiting list to be so, housed in Connorsbury just if they can build out of this village. Like this exactly. Yeah, that's my thoughts. It don't, it's not rocket science, is it? And I want to know, right, you know, because they always say, these parliamentarians always say, well, we need immigrants in this country for, for uh, our society, for like, uh, I don't know, job. And I'm thinking, what male immigrant will want to work in a nursing home? Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah but then they are do up to know what they're doing. Well, if, if they do work in a hurt and nurse, you know, there's only one thing they're doing, yeah. and that's uh, what they call it either doing what they do, like rape or, yeah. or get money yes, off them. We've had more rapes. And it's all our people that are suffering. Yeah, it all is. our people, if it in our elderly, it's our children. Yeah. The disgusting. Um, but yet our government are just. They're, they're not stopping this. I think it was no, the 400, not. was it yesterday? They're constantly coming in. And if it isn't for one guy that we follow down in Dover, we wouldn't know because the mainstream media hardly put anything oh, the out. Liars. Mainstream well, media. You know, lies. when it was in the summer and there was like tens of thousands of them coming through, you know, the mainstream media got to the point where they would only go down if there was children to film them and there was hardly any children that came through. Well, what you're doing now with mainstream media now is that it's, it's being run by the government now. Yeah. Yes. The government yeah. is telling them how, how, how they are to Pay yeah, for. definitely. Yeah, like, I'll give you an example. GB News, they've been, what the kind of times they've been, uh, what the kind of sanctions stuff they've been, whatever. Yeah. Because of certain views. But, but you know, it just, you can go on forever, can't you? Yeah, you can. And you they're bringing like, more and more laws out now that we can be done for hate like speech, laws. for upsetting yeah. people yeah. when we're not even upsetting them. Yeah. And, and it's easier to shut us down, isn't it, than to tackle not, the not uh, uh, issue. Is, uh, 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 the longer this goes on, right. People in this country will, will, will have enough. Mm. Right. Is he all right with Normal your dog? People. I think. I th is he all right with you? Yeah. <laughs> or is he not very friendly? Nope. Come here. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> this one's so. soft as mud. Yeah, well. <laughs> Yours ain't got Jack Russell in it, has it? Uh, a little <laughs> bit. He's all right, to be honest. He's all right. He's but you don't want to risk just, it. Just to him a bit, he, he had a. He had another dog. He's just come to bite him. We just try to socialise him a wee bit, you know, so thank you. Oh. It, it, used to, it used to be the same. Not yeah. like people and. Yeah. It's a shame because he's a lovely natured dog. It's just. But like, so you've got to warn people these days because you don't yeah. want them to sue you if they buy him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Have a nice day, folks. Thank you, bye bye. Well, I reckon then what they've done then is. What do you think they've done yeah, over that one? I, I think what they've done, they took them out of that camp.
and put them here. Put them there, yeah. Well, can yeah. you show us where that camp yeah. is? So this isn't the camp then? Well, come on, we don't think this is the camp. Now. Let's go. It, it, it's been all cleared up. Well, we'll come, we've got to walk back down yeah, there, we'll haven't walk back we, down to the car, but let's see. just go see yeah. if there is another we'll place. We'll come back to see if anybody comes out. Look at cars in there. See, he says... Right. They get vouchers for food. Yeah, they do. Mm. Yeah, they a get, phone. They, uh, they get bikes. Bikes, yeah. they do. They, they do get a car, I've heard. If, if they can prove they drove where yeah. they come from, yeah. they get 3,000. Yeah. And they get money as well. Yeah, they do. And, and I'm thinking, there's people in this country who are yeah. desperate. I know. And they call these people in this country who are desperate scroungers. Yeah, they do. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, these working mothers that are having to go to food banks, yeah, you know, is. I mean, what is it all about? Oh, We're in 2024, when the rich are getting richer yeah. and the yeah. poor are getting poorer. Absolutely. I've, I've seen it every, every, every time we've got them now, just about now. And God, I might, you'll just think in 10 years' time, right, because what, what you'll get is, right, you'll get, on, 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 you'll get a lot of, like, um, you see it in Sweden not, not long ago, mm. where something happens like a woman gets raped. Yeah. And the person says, what, what have you done that for? And then you get in, and then you start having you and him mean, I mean, talking about whatever, you get a gang and them coming. Yeah, you do. And, yeah. and then you get riots then in the streets. Yeah. And this is what's going to happen. Yeah. Right? And mainly it's going to happen in the north. Yeah. Not, not the south, because, yeah. you know, south. Oh, no, never in the north. Yeah. 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 Always. Yeah. Always. Yeah. The and north and south the divide. Is yeah. Cheaper. Yeah, and then you'll get unruly riots where the police can't can't control them. Yeah. Right? And you'll get streets where they where, where they all are. Yeah. And it's just it's to be a nightmare. Yeah, it'll be a Bradford. It'd be worse than it'd be worse than France. Aye, aye, yeah. Aye. They're, they're Don't you feel a bit France better? Still. Yeah. So it's yeah. all going to come to a head. Yeah. Uh, yeah, somewhere it's up there, right. We'll have a walk somewhere up there. Then. I don't know how you're going to get up there. This pathway is up there, so it's somewhere up there. They are. Right. Left, is it? Yeah, if, I if we go so where we're going up, up that hill there? Yeah, yep, somewhere up there. Oops, <laughs> I went back then. I'm forgetting. Okay, people shouting, but I think there's a, a there's something going on That's with kids up there. Is it? Yeah. The thing is, the thing is, right? You know. What are they supposed? What are they afraid of? I know. Uh, the council gates are up and locked I know. up. Uh, you know, are they worried that we're going to go down there? They're locked and for a route? reason, aren't they? Same as that. A lot of them are locked to keep us out, you know, when all we want to do is see the truth and what's really going on and what our council taxes have been paid oh, on. Don't even go there, yeah, I know. Oh, you've got Birmingham there. <laughs> Crazy. I'm thinking, how are they going to support all these immigrants now then? So where then up here? Yeah, I think if you walk through it, I don't know where the tracks are, but they set them back up there, they won't there somewhere right along that ridge line at the back somewhere. On up that there. So you can get through there. Alright. Right. You just remember his way back because I'm not right good with directions. Thank you, very much. Bye. Sorry. This doesn't look as steep, this one. Yeah, this isn't as steep. Are you alright? Yeah, I'm fine. Are you sure? I'm fine. Gosh, where are we going here. up here, guys? Yeah, do you think it's possible then that that's it? But still that... I don't know, it's just, it's just weird with the directions that I was given, but, you know, I've maybe misunderstood those directions that I was given. I was given a postcode and to drive right to the bottom of the road and go round, um, and go through a gate at... A gate at the right-hand side. And we saw one at the right and then one over at the left, so we've, we've come down that one at the right hand side. Now I knew they were getting in this camp, oh god, where are we are coming down here? And there's nowhere else we can go, but can we go up there? Do you think we could go where there it passes? Not this path. And down here, backing onto here, is the, the railway Ow! Oh shit, oh, yeah. no, we can't, can we? Oh, no. uh, it was the railway station that... Um, they're actually coming in through there, so it is down here. What's your thoughts down there? Why should we stick to this other path? We don't want to be going down there, look, there's a fence or not there. Hmm. I said to you, put your wellies on. Oh, these are everything. <laughs> everything's old. I'm not sure of it. <laughs> it looks like it's probably a track for maybe the motorbikes or something down here. Just See, Really? Nice and how did you think if this is where they are, you were going to find this on your own? I know. Like I it? think I've took wrong information. <laughs> but you looked at it with me, didn't you, as well? 
And they're not pods, are they? They're not pods, they're more like chalets the and they looked quite old. But then again, you just said they were plastic and... See, there's uh, tire tracks here, look. Yeah. Now, well, could you, they be mo car? Could it be motorbikes, so though, you know? So I'd yeah. A it's footprint and all there. I mean, I can't see dog walkers coming down here no, when there's that walk up there. But we're going downhill here, didn't you say we wanted to be going up? Do you think we want to be going up there? We, yeah, but, well, because they said it's up there, so this, somehow we've got to get up there. Is it, this is a little bit old, will this be old, old coal I stacks and things? I don't know. I don't know. Fucking hell. Oh, sorry about that, guys. What was that? <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Like? <laughs> Fucking gun. Oh, I only, do you know when I'm walking about like this, I always worry that people are with guns, you know, shooting birds and that, and, and one might hit me a bullet. It's true. It's true. It's <laughs> what we do for our reporting today. Nice little stream. What we do for our beliefs, <laughs> what we do for our beliefs you're right, you're we're right. Yeah. Now, we're going up now and we need it to be going up. Oh, it's a bit clear. Oh, shit, don't go down there. Oh. It's rubber, um, like a sponge, that. It was, wasn't it? Yeah. It's good. It's really wet up there, isn't it? Oh, these are... Oh, these are... And they can hear people in them. It says you could hear foreign people in them. I can. I don't know if anybody's here like AP you can run this off on video for me because I ain't got an hard copy. Uh, it says on that note it's light live firing. Oh this can't be. So is it a shooting it? range? I bet it's a shooting range, isn't it, for fuck's sake. But it even says right up there, didn't yeah, it? Said up there. So we need to yeah, Get up there. Like oh, that's a shooting range, guys, range. is that hidden away? Well, there's no way we're getting up there, is there? Me and you. Right, let's go a bit further. Oh, my God, this is terrible. That's funny, though, what they're there for, isn't it? Nobody had come there to pay... I know. For them for an holiday, would they? No. What? But that. I don't know. Nobody's saying there were definitely some more up here, weren't they? Oh, it's getting uh, smaller. It's a hill down here. To. Uh... <laughs> I'm just walking really little uh, steps, David. So I don't slip. I'm warm now, yeah, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> cold down there, I'm boiling now. Yeah, we should be able to get up there. Now you can get, you can, these are car tracks, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, they're probably to that rifle range, aren't they? Yeah. So there must be a main road somewhere out here to have that rifle range here. See, yeah, because if we got up there, you've still got to get home. further up, haven't you? Yeah. I know, but I can go up there and you can just hold my camera. I don't mind climbing up. No, I'm not having you climbing. Not like a Jamaican. No, if you hurt yourself. I don't know if I'm having you walking on here. No. It's not that right good. I mean, if they're over there, how are they getting over there? There's another way. There's obviously another entrance, yeah. isn't there? So it would have been, it would have been t top of that hill and not top of this hill. It were over there, wasn't it? That other way we pointed, wasn't it? Yeah. Went back and beyond. Ah, what's this? We can get through here. Oh, 
Oh, God, it stinks around here, it doesn't does, it? Don't it? That's <laughs> that, innit? Is that one of them ponds with frog spawn and that, innit? Well, I was looking at them uh, where it's all yellow. Yike. Oh. That is bad. That is bad. That's what stinks. But there is a fence at the top of there, isn't there? As if there could be something at the side yeah. that's getting across this water now. But if that slows, like what well, I've just put my foot in, it could be like sinking yeah. sand, couldn't it? It could be that that's Oh, smelling. it really does smell, Andrew. It's all the way down. Oh, shit. Pity they're in That's going to be doing. Put your foot in your What's this time on here? I think we can jump. I don't think we can probably jump this. Careful. <sighs> Do you want to stay there? Don't you jump over there. No, you stay there. I'll, I'll go up. I'm coming over. Nice one, well done. <laughs> The baby's when we get to the top now. <laughs> we'll need air rescue. I know. Because we'll not know where we've got. <laughs> it's right out of here, isn't it? Right at bottom and then left, I think. Yeah, once Oh, I don't know if I'm picking the right way to go through here. Ah! Ah, watch with a spike in here. Ah, I'm along in here. Ah, 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 that way in the air. Bloody hell. Oh, there is a pathway. I've got all twigs in the air. You <laughs> I probably haven't brought the best way to the bloody walk. Oh, well, we okay. don't know, do we? No. Oh, I'm saying yeah. this is a path, this is where water's coming down, isn't it? It's when it rains, obviously, that's going yeah. to get it all, isn't it? <clears throat> oh my God, where are we here? Um, they're all spiky out there. Oh, I don't know what to do. Watch them if you grab that across the rose bushes. So you can get it there where there's no thorns on it. You go that way. Oh my god, I can't see it up here. Oh my god, where have we come? <laughs> where the hell have we come up here, guys? What have you been doing today, Sue? <laughs> <laughs> I've been climbing through a woodland. <laughs> I've been having a ramble. Oh shit, we better not go no further though, because look, that's fenced, isn't it? Oh, bloody hell. Oh, let's go have a little look and come back. Well, we know where to get back through where that gap in fence is, don't yeah. we? Let's go through there. We're not, there's a a there. bit further up? Yeah. Walk the guns are not well. for us guys if and you've just come on it's a rifle centre just around the corner. <laughs> I know, I've already damaged one coat when I got um I got locked in a in a garage at those tower blocks in Nottingham and that's scratched all my coat getting out. I'll have me exercise for a week. <laughs> Weird. That wild barbed wire. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. I don't know. If this is where they are. They're doing it for a reason. I know. Does that look like a gate up there? Yeah, you have a little look up yeah. there. You can't see over it, but. When oh shit, my contact told me it was a quarter of a mile from where I parked the car. I think we've done a few quarter of a miles in walking. Just need a little gap, don't we? Yeah. But, I mean, he says he thought that they'd moved them, but you'd be able to see where they've been, you'd have thought, wouldn't you? You know, like yeah. the grass would be um, dead. Yeah. Oh, you're better this way. Oh, they're in other things. No, it's over there. It's over there. It's over there. It's over there. No, I was too busy uh, looking at my camera. Anywhere. It's making me think, was it those first ones that I went to? But then that guy says that there were some up here, didn't he? But, and apparently Doctor Council owned the land, yeah. so they're not going to own the land. With horses on. You wouldn't have thought. See if we can look over here, yeah, because it's quite high up there, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, maybe if the wood were up there, they would have the rocks, wouldn't they? Yeah. over there. Yeah. So let's go have a look back down that way rather than going further out.
so secretive from us all. They don't want us to, to find out what's going on. Because they know that we'll all be very mad about our own people struggling and suffering while migrants just get yep. given everything. Did we come down here? Did we come through that? That's where we come through. That. We come through a fence down here, isn't it? I think. Am I right? We did, did we? Oh, did we? Yeah. We did. Did we, we, we come? Oh, did we come? Did no, I'm sure we came from over here. I think we come down here, didn't we? Or did we come? Hmm? Oh, we're alright, aren't we? I'm known for getting lost, so. I think we come that way. So we can go back this way then, can't yeah. we? If it's a better path, it might be a bit oh, yeah. muddier. But... It's a different thing, so we, we yeah. can see something. Squelch, squelch, squelch. Oh yeah, because we come from... Oh, I'm thinking that we're over there. We've come from down here, haven't we? One of you. Anyway, at least I know where car is, I know where postcode is if we are lost. Yeah. That's one consolation because I'm I'm a good one at uh, AP for losing my car. Oh god, where are we? Oof. So maybe down there. You say can I come down? tip off that I've had of this guy is I don't really <laughs> normally go walking through woods especially in the mud so it's a road isn't it that so we I need to be that way I bet we? if we follow this road it'll take us back to where the car is and they might be along this road yeah, yeah. well well uh, this will be one of them this... gates that I said there's a gate here yeah and there's another gate up there yeah I bet this is it yeah. This will take us to... So at least, and there's hardly any cars, so we can have a look down the side of the road. Did you get them huts on there? Yeah. Right. Oh, yeah, because we won't see huts got... going back this way, will we? Hopefully. Yeah. If he's seen you, he'll be back it, I'm hoping it. so, yeah, to say whether we're right or wrong. Wait a minute, we have to go towards. Oh, shit, this is a bit dangerous, though. So do you think we'll be all right? Yeah. Walk towards oncoming yeah. traffic, don't you? Yeah. This has got to be road become. Definitely. Now there's either a gate further up where we've passed. Yeah. Uh, because there were another. I said there's another gate. So yes, yeah, so that's just like a circle, isn't it, from where the initial yeah. postcode was. This should take us back to cars. cars. Yeah. I've got all um thaw ooh, thorns in my hair. I got bushes it's stuck in my hair. <laughs> so on my way back guys as well I'll be nipping to this controversial school, the independent school who have been silencing the parents about the migrants from the Ramada Hotel Doncaster Airport coming into the school premises and harassing the children and it looks like the headmaster has got more thoughts about the school's reputation than the children's safety. That's where we're at today, guys. Not even a private school can protect their children's safety from migrants today. 
I'll also be bobbing to another little village as well near Askin where an alleged looking migrant person with flip flops was pictured trying to get a 14 year old girl into a silver car we did didn't we so yeah so there could be, could be anywhere around there couldn't it? Yeah. You haven't got a Fitbit on, have you? Know how far we've walked. No, I haven't. I should have put it on my phone. David, you can't work out how far we've walked, can you? <laughs> Yorkshire Rose doesn't do walking. Yorkshire Rose has four wheels. It's a beautiful day, Sue, isn't it? Gorgeous. And we're just in the middle of the countryside here in South Yorkshire far away from the the city centre but all these roads will then all these fields will just be full of houses in years to come See, that was that first gate that you said, wasn't it? Yeah, when we came up and we drove up. We passed a couple of gates, but we're... It's how far it takes us, because we've been down there, haven't we? Yeah, but at this side of fence, yeah. Yeah. Oh, we've got a hill. If we walk this area much longer, they're going to sell our coat up to this <laughs> <laughs> When I uh, asked you to come along, I didn't expect having to do all this walking. <laughs> oh, I love to listen to the birds. Ooh, get to the side. Oh, sugar. Not the idealist road to be walking on, but it's better than going through all the bracken. <laughs> Still getting the bits of thorns out of my hair. Can you remember how far it was? I bet it's a lot longer this way, roadway. Yeah. Will you just hold that while I take my coat on? Oh, I'm boiling. It was a good walk. <gasps> a good ride, I mean, so walking. <laughs> Oh no. We went a long way down that path though, thank you. Yeah, we do. Further than we, we thought it was. I know. That's longer than we thought it was. But where we went to them cabins seemed to be that second postcode that I was given. It's, I think that was it. Dad, I'm wondering if that were it. I wonder if he calls them pods. He might do. It says they were plastic. Well, it's awful when you get information off people and. Then, I know, they didn't look like plastic, did they? Oh, we here. Oh, I rolled that again, so. You can tell I'm not fit, can't you? You can tell I drive a car. <laughs> I'm alright, Sue, I'm flat. Give me an ill. Right, we've got 30 mile an hour here. Surely we're coming up to the little village. Where his car is. So guys, there could be anywhere around oh, here. Oh, yeah. Well, I've asked someone to download it for me, so I've got a, a heart copy. Yeah. And I can just clip that little bit. Right. Told you it was a hell, guys. Massive respect to all the tractors that have been out. I'm in support of every single farmer and I agree, no farmers, no food today. The government are just bleeding everyone dry. Everyone's in poverty, yet immigrants get four star treatment.
we've really been hit hard up north with the migrants. There's a lady that's out with me today, knows full well she's got them living around her. And it's not nice, it's not nice. They're just rubbish piled up all over, they get rats. And these people don't know, know better. You know, when people's worked all their lives and looked after their houses and the gardens, they don't want someone living next door to them like this. We're right here, aren't we? Cade Bay, just outside Connysborough, Doncaster. He said, what, under a quarter of a mile from where we parked the car. Do you this know? Way. Oh, yeah, shit, we've got right way down there to walk on. We're at the bottom. Yeah, I'm oh just thinking. God. And we come, yeah, that way. Yeah, we don't, we're going that way. Yeah. We are, but I'm thinking that my car's parked at the top here, isn't it? And it's right down that other country road, miles away. <laughs> Good day, Min. Shall Good day, everyone else. You? Hi, Third Fish. Hi, Julie. Oh, gosh. What have we done? <laughs> I'm on flat, but I might be alright. That was downhill, wasn't it? But we were a right trek, wasn't it? From down here. <laughs> oh, is it? Yeah. Near the Cabin Pub and Restaurant. It's a beautiful little village. Oh, that smells nice. That it smells like rose pork. Mmm, crackling, stuffing, applesauce. <laughs> Do you know what? I'm politically homeless at the moment, everyone, because I don't know who to I don't know who to vote. Like I say, I was a long, lifelong Labour supporter with all my family before. We all understood. Labor, well, what now? Yeah, yeah, when Labour, Labour used to look after the working class people. They're not, they're not. But yet we have like MPs like Yvette Cooper, who's my MP, and I just wish people wouldn't vote for her. Yeah. Because all she's talking about is regeneration in our so run down town. But this regeneration, it includes like cycle lanes. They're like. <laughs> People near me don't go cycling, you know. What are they doing that for? The new houses, the thousands of houses that's yeah. going to be built around us all, hoping that they'll use the bikes to get to the nearest train station. You can just see it though, can't you? So yeah, guys, I really don't know what to do, so um, I haven't voted for Labour since Brexit. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. Didn't we come we came down Garden Lane, didn't we? No, Did we? No, this is where we went down. Yeah. Yeah. sure it was so yeah it's down here because i said end of all these houses because yeah. mine took me to, to garden lane did the postcode so yeah guys so um oh, there's so many people talk about reform and i've nothing against them i'm not very very well educated with politics but are they going to split the vote again like with the brexit party I just don't want Labour in. I really, really no, don't. They've caused no enough problems. No, no. You know, my my town of Castleford's been Labour all my life. Are you sure it would come down? Yeah. yeah. No. 
thing. Just let me have a look at this house. I'm sure we did. I'm sure we were out of stocks and then we had that right long thing. Do you think it was? Yeah, it was because Garden Lane were on my sat nav. So this is the way, guys, that I was sent to the postcode. And once you leave these houses here in the village, it just takes you down a really, really long country lane. Which all that there is, is down there. There looks like some sort of business, a stoneworks. I'm doubting myself. It's like, what do we do? Everyone, people will say, well, you know, where's your vote? Right on your vote. Um, people don't go out and vote. And then it's just worked out on the minority that went out. I just think whoever gets in or whoever is in today, whoever is in today, whoever, is in today, whoever gets in, surprise but I'm sure this is the right way because I've been down it twice me before you came I'm sure I'm going right way and told me to drive to the quarry right I've actually been my car is actually parked down we get right to the bottom of this road and there was a gate in front of us the quarry to the left so I think we need to be near that quarry when I said that I was at that gate yeah and the quarry was on my left that gate were on the right I think we need to be further down near that quarry might have been better going back through um, through fields it might have been quicker so I had to check my messages when I'm on a live like this but it's just flashed through but what I'm going to do guys is it's I think it's quite a long walk back to the car down here as we've come the roadway back so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go and have a look at my message from my contact and just go and see and make sure that we have covered the place because I think it's further down towards the quarry 
Um, now those those are the pods that were that were further up that we saw. Might be nice to know if anyone knows what they are. None of the locals thought it could have been the migrants that have been moved from the all the pods in there. So yeah, we'll go take a look and keep watching out for me all afternoon, guys, because uh, on my way back, I've got another two locations to visit. Thank you, ML41. Thank you everybody that watches my work, that likes it, it means a lot, and that shares it, it means even more, and then subscribing to my channel. And anyone that's got any local stories in their area, I will come and report from there. I will put the story out and no names will be included. So yeah, I'm gonna sign off now at the moment, guys, and I'll be back probably in about an hour. Thanks everyone. Good afternoon from Yorkshire Rose.